just you time it so by the time the Hades strips the armor, you're just close enough to get a barrage of mortar in, then maybe it would work. Otherwise, they don't synergize very well at all, I would say. Yeah, it is a little, little strange. We'll see how Trouble plays it here. So let's get a quick rundown of ships. Um, do you want to go ahead? Or oh, I, I suppose this? I could. On the Kamikaze Punk, we have the Hades Mortar and the Artemis Artemis side. On the Amadeus, we have the Artemis front, right side, Gap Mortar, left side, Hades Rocket Carousel. And on the Lib GTK, that is Luessi's ship, Luessi's? Lou, 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 It's like it's like Craftic Sturdy. I couldn't pronounce his name forever. Anyway, mm -hmm. he's got a Gat Mortar up front with double Artemis on the sides, and on the Solus Ortum, captained by Hillerton, we've got a uh, Hades Artemis with Artemis flare gun on the sides. So not going back to that uh to that double gap mortar that they displayed on their first time around on this map. No they're not and the Solus Autumn and the Lib GTK ducking low in these clouds waiting to ambush the sacrilege team as they yeah, did with already Hate got, Watch. We've already got some lag complaints coming on from oh boy from both sides. We might have to contend with that a little bit. And it doesn't mm -hmm. seem like it's going in slow-mo per se. At least, at least that's good. But we'll see if these two teams actually manage to get together here. The buff is taking two hits per tick mark. Oh. I guess that's a pa passive buff there. Nice. <laughs> Lag buff. <laughs> All nice. right, so it's Ortum, Lib moving on forth. These two teams are going to meet each other very, very soon in the middle here. Asmodea is kind of floating freely through these clouds. Should be spotted any minute here. And spots going down on the Solus and actually going after the Kamikaze Punk instead of the Asmodeus. Am Amadeus, I mean. Yeah, interesting choice here. Okay, the Gatling going down on the Amadeus. They've switched focus. So the awesome. Amadeus runs into the side of a building. Oh dear, that was a bad ram there for the Amadeus. Now the uh, Solus Autumn awesome going forward, attacking as the Lib GTK attacks the Amadeus. The Gatling going in, stripping the armor of the Amadeus here. Armor the Amadeus. Is so close to being down, but just not quite. Kamikaze now Punk it is. coming in. Oh, what a nice ram by Lib GTK. And down pieces. goes Amadeus. And now a Kamikaze Punk ramming the Solus Awesome. Um, Kamikaze in a, Punk. In a, ineffectually flying, firing that close range uh, Hades as Lib GTK turns around, probably to finish him off. Kamikaze Punk doing its namesake, using that Kamikaze method to come on in and try to do something, Things. anything. But uh, in this case, it does not work out. And even though there was a little bit of split fire going on at the start there from the blue team, they do manage to sweep it up uh, nice and clean. Amade Amadeus, or Amadeus? It's Amadeus. Uh, Amadeus, yes. Yeah, had a, had a tough time there bouncing against the building, completely killing all of its momentum. Kamikaze Punk turning for the LibGTK. LibGTK so, is actually really Lib GTK, far out Yeah, front. He's, he's, at, he's completely out of position here. He could get focus fired right now. It's just unfortunate that Sacred had taken a funky build this week. Um, yep, fire going down the LibGTK. LibGTK getting bounced up by the Kamikaze Punk. LibGTK has the high ground on the Kamikaze Punk. They're firing right down onto him. Solus Awesome. Focus firing the LibGTK, but the LibGTK getting stripped here. Oh, oh the Lib GTK. GTK will Can he get back yep. behind the building? No, he doesn't. Not quite. Oh, just not quite. So first kill there for red team. Can the Amadeus finish off the Solus Oh, the Am Solus Amadeus Autumn. has got the gap mortar and he's strafing around. And the Solus Autumn, the Solus Autumn doesn't have the close range guns to do the trick. Oh, there we have yeah, it. So very, very nicely done. Very nice job there by uh, Sacrilege pulling this game. Uh, really close together, and they had to get those two kills. Otherwise, this would have been far out of their reach.
Yes, indeed. And, I, and once again, I feel like the Soul Sardom taking that longer range there actually really hurt the their chances. Uh, on this map particularly, you know that all of these engagements are probably going to be up close, so uh, I, I'm that's why I'm surprised that they took that to Hades Artemis instead of the Gat Mortar like they did the first time. Yes, it, I, I, I'd agree with you there. And the Amadeus and the Kamikaze Punk. Now, well, these, these two teams, what's well, mirror images here? The Kamikaze Punk rounds the Amadeus, not sure why. Just a little bit of love tap, just a little love tap. friendly, friendly Lucky high bro. five. Good job, Amadeus, taking out <laughs> the last ship. Nice work. A little bit of a, little bit of a, a slapping on the back, as if you will. Mm -hmm. little, the, the, the traditional butt slap that you see in sports teams. Yeah. Well, less said, I don't know if Tropo's into that kind of thing. Uh, less said about that, the better. <laughs> LibGTK, Solus Autumn going low altitude here through the clouds, looking to sneak up most likely on the Sacrilege team. Sacrilege team taking the high ground, uh, keeping Overwatch over the surroundings. Yep, we've got, uh, we've got Crimson Riders sneaking on in, trying to act very shark-like below the clouds should be able to get through here without too much of a problem you've got to be careful around these bridges and buildings however if you get stuck or if you bang onto one uh with your nose straight into a building your all your momentum is killed and if your teammate doesn't realize it goes on fourth you can often get caught in those 2v1 situations mm -hmm. thankfully that doesn't happen here for the riders however they are following uh Falling behind each other in tight, tight formation. LibGTK, Solus Autumn sneaking on through Ooh, low altitude. Yeah, golly, this is some tight maneuvering here through the wreckage. Interesting approach. They could catch Sacrilege completely by surprise. They're just going to go right under them. Absolutely, now Sacrilege kind of floating uh, just around the middle of the map, going extremely slowly, trying to get in sort of spots down. But uh, riders here are very well hidden. However, if you're well hidden, that means the other team, you're probably not going to be able to find them either. And there we go, Liz Lib having a little bit of trouble there, bouncing off some uh, some of the... I think he bounced off the railroad tracks there into a building. Mm-hmm. Now is going to be able to get through here. This is, uh, this is like... Uh, I feel almost like we're doing a tourist attraction of, of the dead city of Britain. Yes, indeed. Look at all these lovely surroundings. Some uh, prime real estate here may have some slight wear and tear. A bit of a fixer-upper. It's a DIY job, but, you know, that's all part of its charm. Actually, you know, if you read some of the lore that they have posted on the website, Perton is actually supposed to have a fairly sizable uh, amount of people living in it still who are just there as scavengers. Mm -hmm. It's uh, quite an interesting backstory. Yeah, I, I, I read through it all some months ago. So if uh, if you have any interest in that sort of stuff, I do suggest checking out Guns of Icarus website. They do have a fair amount of uh, stuff posted on there about Laura and oh, Saul sort of lapping along buildings here. This is I'm not sure if this is actually really necessary to go the way that they are. Quite honestly, well, it's almost like they're showing off now. Except the Solus Autumn has now gotten a bit caught on a bit of debris. Um, ooh, batsing around a bit. Ooh, balloons being taken down bouncing now. Around. Has Phoenix Claw on, trying to right himself here, but got to be yeah, extremely careful. He still have these peekaboo games on Paraton, even though uh, even though the map's not as big as it used to be. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it did use it was at least I think two or three more squares wider than it is right now, right? Uh huh. Oh yeah, at least it was huge. You'd you'd, uh, you'd often have both of mm -hmm. these. Up oh, looks like we're back in in slow mo apparently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Part of this problem was slow uh, solar sortum. Maybe experiencing that slow mo as well, trying to get out of that building, kind of get out of that little cabin that well, they, uh, their nose was pointed in. This match A is taking a surprisingly long time, and B um, slow mo might take look might might might, might like uh, let it take even longer. 
And right now, the uh, Crimson Rhino, or the, sorry, the Crimson Sky Riders are. Well, they've got the advantage here. They've got the free kills. All they need, to, all the fear Ooh. they need to do is kill time for a bit more, and uh, yeah, now, they will win. I think if the Sacred have really been paying attention there, there were some clouds missing from where the. Uh, the writers were going around on, but I think they were not able to catch sight of them. Um, I would assume that they'd have to be looking low, and oh, Amadeus is actually moving into an area where they can, they should be able to see Solus Artem if they are looking down enough. I, I can't believe that they wouldn't be seeing them right now. You should mm. be able to see Yep, there you go. Amadeus is turning, got that spot going on, so they are aware where these two ships are currently flying around yeah. and here they come know, those shots. They know they've been spotted. They're, they're uh, looking for cover here, it looks like. No, LibGTK going up. LibGTK wants to charge. Or does he? No, he's changed his mind. There we go. Yep. He's moving back down. Bottom right back down from... Uh, right back down. They Solid would... Sardom. Yeah, the, 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 the Sky... Um, Crimson Skyriders would love... They would love love the uh, Kamikaze Punk and Amadeus to just kind of skirt around and uh, go low and try and fight them on their level because they just annihilate them with that um, Gap Mortar um, and uh, Hades Artemis Focus Fire. Quite possibly, but once again, riders have to be extremely careful here. They've been bouncing around a well, lot of terrain. Riders can wait as long as they want down here. Either they'll win by time or they'll win because Amadeus and Kamikaze Punk go down and fight them on their level. We'll see. But it looks like uh, Sacrilege just not want to do that. They're actually backing up for some particular reason. There we go. There's another spot down on the Solus Artem who has gone up a little bit too far, getting into range. Hades shots are raining on in. A few of them connecting so far. Ooh, nice shots there. And Solus Artem is actually going to fall onto the bridge. And falling onto the bridge is possibly the worst place to be in. Ooh. Be careful here, Salas Artem. You're in a really precarious position right now. But they managed to get on out of there, and uh, that's, that's good for them. That bridge, I don't know if you've gotten caught there before, Brick, but if you get caught in, in the little pointy ends of this bridge, it's it's hell to get out, on it. Get out of there. Hmm. You see that All actually right. happen quite a lot on, uh, on Labyrinth. Yes, you actually, do. Because it's... it's the the point is actually surrounded by that uh, bridgey area, so see a lot of bounces off those pointy ridges there. But here we go, Amadeus and Sol Sardom exchanging fire, coming because of Punk raining down as well. Lib GTK rising on up, but Sol Sardom is just under this immense continuum. Oh, fire. Lib GTK is in a tricky position, but luckily he's got cover to duck behind. Yep, these Crimson Sky Riders know where they are at all times and are eager to duck back into cover when need be. I have a lot of those shots which would normally be hitting are now slamming into the building instead. Full on clips of Hades and Artemis just going into terrain instead of actually connecting with these ships. You know, but the other side, on the other hand, when you're behind you know, these terrains, these buildings, uh, you also have a very tough time returning fire. So uh, while uh, uh, while the Skyriders don't have to press the air advantage because they, they do have those three kills required to win, uh, if should we go to overtime, they uh, they also are kind of stuck where they are right now. They can't really can't really go anywhere without getting spotted and shot down. Yes, the Kamikaze Punk, the Amadeus, are going over now. They're getting higher altitude, looking to arc those Hades shots down onto Solis Autumn. Oh, and those Artemis as well. Yeah, now, well, now the um, now the uh, the uh, Crimson Sky Riders, they are getting suppressed here. Yeah, Amadeus coming in with that Gatling, but not really. Oh, LibGTK hey. into a building. Yeah, kind of yeah. trying for a really awkward engage here. Now, you, you might have been right in your earlier point. I mean, the, the Crimson Skyriders are in a really awkward position. There's just not really a lot of room, room to maneuver. 
Yep, here we go. Lib GTK now under file sauce. Artem trying to retreat on out of here. Kamikaze Punk taking a lot of fire. However, they're losing a lot of its armor, but barely managing to get out of there. Rebuilding. Ooh. Balloon almost down. Balloon is down. Armor is down. Kamikaze Punk so close to death there. Here comes those mortar shots coming on in. Punk gets his armor rebuilt, but Balloon is still low. Amadeus trying to save his teammate. Can Kamikaze Punk stay alive here? Armor still down, getting it back up, and that's a fantastic job of repairing on the Kamikaze Punk so far. And now it's LibGTK who's in so much trouble, and it's Amadeus after him, but Solo sort of right on the back of Amadeus. Amadeus taking a lot of damage. Balloon down. Totally awesome Armor. going for a ram on the Amadeus and skirts Completely right past. Completely whiffs. Yep, Amadeus being helped by its uh, lost balloon there currently, actually. Allowing the dip down, but armor is still oh, down. Oh, Kamikaze, Kamikaze and Amadeus punk. taking lots of damage oh, here. Kamikaze. Any, any shot there would have finished off. Any Kamikaze, shot will do it. But just not able to finish it. However, both these sacrilege ships are in such heavy state of disrepair, and Amadeus now has to be incredibly careful here. If he gets spotted and he is killed, spotted. that will do it. <laughs> yep, yep, this is true. He is still spotted, but... Uh, Oh, there was a bit of Gatling that went down, but Amadeus trying to skirt around through these buildings. He does not want to die, and I don't blame him. Um, okay, the Amadeus. Oh, nice cornering here. Rising yep, up. Trying to get around these buildings. Gatling fire coming on in. Gonna do some amount of damage, but... Amadeus kerosening, gliding down with his no balloon, but it's sort of... Oh, he's, he's going, he's going, he's going. The GTK firing. Amadeus. Moving. LibGTK turning that corner is keeping that Gatling fire going, but armor is still up barely, but armor is still up however now that Soul Sardom has turned the corner as well. Oh, huge ram there from the LibGTK, knocking the Amadeus into that building area and uh, taking the Amadeus down, and that is there a 5 it. victory. There you have it. Dope. 1-0 lead here for the Crimson Sky Riders after a very prolonged sort of match at the large amount of positioning there in the middle. Sky Riders trying to use as much of that terrain to their advantage and uh, very well thought by Sacrilege, but Sky Riders just managed to pull it out ahead of them. We are getting started here on Canyon Ambush between the Sky Riders and Sacrilege. If the Sky Riders win this one, they move on to the finals to face the Gents. If Sacrilege pulls this game back in their favor, we will go to match number three, but let's get a quick loadout of ships. Mm-hmm. You want to start us off here, Brick? Right, Kamikaze Punk, captained by Tropo. We have the Gat Mortar front. We have the Artemis Flare sides. The Amadeus, we have the Artemis front, left side Hades Carousel, right side Gat Mortar. Lib BTK, we have the Gat Mortar front, we have the Artemis side. And on the Solus Autumn, we have the Hades Artemis front and Artemis Flare Gun side. Yep, and we're already getting the uh, Sacrilege team moving on fourth here, firing down at the Lib GTK. They got out here into the canyon fairly quickly, we're already focusing with that long-range fire through a lot of this canyon, actually. That's some uh, some mighty fine shooting there. And we've already got a request for a pause. Um, care of the Crimson Sky Riders is saying we lost a crewman to Demlags. Yep, looks like uh, Hector did uh, drop, and looks like Sacrilege is abiding by this slight pause here. They did back on up. Yeah, I mean, this has been unfortunately going on for much of the day. I know the Aerodome earlier was plagued by some disconnects and uh, yeah. slow matches, so uh, once again, unfortunately, the vehicle of Esports is technology, and technology has a tendency to break every now and, and then. That vehicle has crashed at this point. It crashed and is being slowly towed around instead. 
Mm -hmm. got a, it's got a tugboat attached to it trying to pull it back in the port. Uh, you know, I think this is actually really the first time that something like this has happened in competitive play. I don't, I don't remember ever you're uh, ever having this bad of a time in any in any full on event. Yeah, this has probably been one of the worst, um, you know, sort of lag spikes we've seen. I, um, yeah, I mean, Zill was remarking earlier, oh, I haven't seen this bad since the Cogs season one days. In, um, yep. All right, back, we are... when, back when every server was laggy all the time. Yeah, all right, so we are getting back into this active match now that Hector has signed back in with Sacrilege. Uh, sort of sitting around on the, just on the perimeter of their spawn area. And the writers doing pretty much the same, keeping real, whoop, keeping real low uh, once again. Uh, like they did in, in uh, apparent actually. Amadeus, Kamikaze Punk, sneaking on over the canyons here. And both of these blue ships hanging around right around the lip of those canyons. Thankfully, there's no carronades, no heavy carronade from the other side because uh, being that low in the canyon area, if you're facing against a carronade, can be quite, quite deadly. You get the balloon popped and you're immediately dragging along on the ground. Uh, but uh, Sol's Order, I'm not moving back into the clouds. And, you know, this is actually not all that great for the riders. They are fairly far apart from each other here. If Sacrilege actually comes around the edge right now, they will catch LibGTK all on its own. And, oh, this is going to be very bad for Lib here. Oh, this is actually oh, terrible yeah. for Lib, riders. Lib is, Lib is going to be in a really tricky position here. Lib's been spotted. Oh, but I think he knows what they... Yeah. They seem to know where they're coming from. Yeah, Solo sort of just managed to get here on time, so it'll be a full 2v2 instead of that 2v1 situation we see all so often, but... Kamikaze Punk going straight for Lib here with that gap mortar front. Lib GTK taking a lot of Gatling. Yeah, but Gatling fire in return as well so far. Lib oh, has Lib taken GTK the worst of it. trying to go over. He's moonshining. He's moonshining over the Kamikaze Punk. They do get over the Kamikaze Punk, but they're almost. The Amadeus is waiting down. for him, and the Kamikaze Punk gives him a ram. Ooh, the Lib Loses GTK just barely hanging around. Loses the balloon, so he's not going to be able to return that fire. Lib GTK trying to. Oh, Lip GTK, just some amazing evasive flying here. Um, but is it few of you? Oh, but how much longer? Kamikaze Punk's going down. Oh. He can't get the last mortar. The last mortar exploded inches away from the Lib GTK. Not able to keep oh, those gun arcs. Balloon down, pushing against the ground, and the Solus Ordem finishes him off. Let's see if the Amadeus can take out Lib GTK here. Oh, but armor is down on the Amadeus as well, and Lib GTK full view of the Amadeus takes him down and that is a extremely close engagement there once again and riders just barely managed to come out on top yep solar sortum and the lib gtk standing strong lib gtk's taken a fair old bit of permahull but still hanging in there i'm amazed lib gtk survived that engagement just hydro up over the pyramidian just skirted under the junker uh, over the arcs of the Pyramidian again, just very, very um, sturdy little Pyramidian that, and very well flown. Yeah, Kamikaze Punk was very unfortunate there, lost his balloon twice during an engagement, which meant he lost his arc on those mortar shots that would have finished the Lib GTK, and it had the Lib GTK died there, that would have almost certainly been a 2-0 lead for Sacrilege. Instead, Riders just managed to turn that around, and, uh, you know, they still have to be very careful because if the Lib GTK gets focused, uh, it will go down extremely quick here. Um, so we'll hopefully see the Solus Ordem maybe lead out at least as they're going around this canyon area, just in case the Sacrilege team is waiting for them right there. Of course, as I say, that Lib is still in front. So maybe they're just going to throw caution to the wind. They do want to get Gat Mortar going first. But I don't know. I I really think that Solemn Solace should 
be the first one through that little uh, canyon pass over there. However, Sacrilege is going pretty much the exact opposite side of the map, and we see this quite a lot. I have a feeling almost these two sh uh, ships are going to end up in each other's spawns before they realize that neither is uh, is where the other thought they were going to be. Solus and Lib. Not actually going forth any longer. I don't quite know what their plan is here. Maybe they're just seeing if Sacrilege comes through this pass. And if uh, if they don't see them here for a little while, they maybe might turn back around. This is a very defensible position, regardless of uh, whether or not they continue moving forth. You're in a lot of clouds here, so it's going to be kind of hard to spot you. And, uh, and they can turn around and go back the other way basically any time they want. Yeah, it looks like these two two teams just kind of waiting for the other, and they're gonna, they're gonna have a long time to wait because they're not exactly in um, no brainer positions. Um, and they're not, you know, they're not exactly spawn camping. They're gonna have to kind of root around to find each other. Yeah, if we play the uh, play the ring around the rosy now. I think at this close range, they should actually be hearing slight drums. For those yeah. who might not know what we refer to there, when you get in range of each other, uh, uh, drum music starts playing, signaling that you're close to another uh, team. But Sacrilege turning the wrong way here, and let's see, will Riders go on fourth here? Nope, they're still just waiting at this pass. They have, if they had gone fourth and been able to catch the Sacrilege team, on top of this mesa, you do not want to get on top, stuck uh, on top of these rocks here. It's possibly the worst place to be at. I've gotten actually stuck up here with mobulas before, and it's just absolutely horrible, terrible place to be hmm. in. Yeah, um, of course, we remember Matissamo got stuck on one of these cliff tops here on his mobula, and he just oh, kind of yeah, glitched. He... he just glitched into it. And he, yeah, he just. I think that was the. The pillar behind here, kind of on the uh -huh. right side of the Kamikaze Punk right now. I was trying to go over that and got stuck in there and blew up. That was quite an amusing mm -hmm. start to the game. Kamikaze Punk flying backwards, making sure that they're not going to get caught by surprise from uh, the little side area here where Blue Team was hanging out. And as I have a phone call, then I'm going to quiet down because we are casting. And yes! Serious business. And, uh, and yeah. All right. So blue team moving up around, hanging around the red spawn. And this is kind of what I expected to happen. Eventually, the blue team will move towards red spawn and red will move into blue spawn. And then you both kind of realize that you're neither, uh, neither team is in the spawn where they are, where they start from, and, and you kind of slap your forehead and you move back around and hopefully find yeah. each other. Eventually, you know, you won't swap um, swap positions at the same time. Eventually, you will run into each other. Yeah, and we've seen this happen quite a lot on this map as well. It's actually funny. The I, I really think that Periton and this map are the two maps where you're most likely to circle each other. I mean, if you think about it, uh, Dunes, you can really see each other uh, at least you know at least half the time. You, you can tell where the other team is unless they're extremely extremely good at hiding. Uh, on on something like Duel at Dawn, that map is just way too small to hide from each other to be able to circle around each other without seeing each other. Um, Periton and uh, Canyon Ambush are, are really two of the ones with most clouds and most amount of terrain to hide behind. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. Kamikaze Punk, are they moving? Are they pointing the right way? Yeah, all right, so here we go. Spots finally down on Kamikaze Punk and Solace. These positions taken often, but usually with colors reversed, but still finally getting back into some action here. And the Lib is actually doing a fairly good job at staying down here, knowing that they cannot take really any punishment at all. They've got to be extremely careful when they poke their noses out. Yeah, it's... Um... Very good. Well, I think as much of that as anything, he's, he's, he's just he's lurking, he's waiting for his opportunity to pop out. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. Oh, 
Luigi GK expecting a bounce there. That was a bit, uh, didn't work like it was intended to. Oh, Lib GTK is in the perfect position to ambush the Kamikaze Punk with the Kamikaze Punk. The Kamikaze Punk's coming over. The, Kam the Kamikaze Punk's incredibly vulnerable right now. The Kamikaze Punk's incredibly oh, out of position. Lib GTK gonna rise on up here. Now, can Amadeus catch Lib GTK before the like, Kamikaze Punk goes shots will down. kill Kamikaze Punk. Lib GTK's oh, got his tail. So got his tail. Bangs into the rock. But he goes right below. He goes low. Down. He goes low. There oh, we go. Oh, Kamikaze Punk gets taken up by Lib GTK, and that is a... Oh, Sol Sordom. That was almost uh, just catastrophic for them as they rammed into that rock right as their armor went down. But Lib GTK is still in a lot of trouble here, and Amadeus can take both of these ships out if they are careful here. Is not and it is not over by any means as the Amadeus now under fire from the Sol Sordom, and they might actually just be trying to get on out of here, knowing that. Uh, if the Lip GTK turns around, this could end terribly for them. And then they stop, of course, to prove me completely wrong. Amadeus getting his... Oh, he's getting his engine shot out there. Completely wrecked. Yeah, it's... absolutely. Oh, hey. Kamikaze Cup Punk's coming back in, but he's coming back into a most likely a meat grind situation. No, no, Pat Kamikaze Punk, no. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh, Amadeus just barely managing to stay alive here. Kamikaze Punk can rescue his teammate, but no, he cannot. Oh, as Kamikaze goes Punk down. living up to his name. Kamikaze Punk is coming in, firing on the Gatling down on the Lib GTK. And Lib GTK taking a lot of all damage, oh, gets but it back not up. that much. Oh, in oh, any moment Punk now. Can't go anywhere. Oh. It's going to ram straight back into this rock, going to stop all his momentum and throw his gun arc Lib off. Lib GTK ramming into the. I'm not sure why I did that. Maybe GTK just rammed into the corner oh, there. Sol oh, Sol Oh, good ram by Sol Sortem. Pushing off his oh. gun arcs. But Sol Sortem taking, taking Permahull. Oh, Sol Sortem going to go has got him. There. Oh, but now Kamikaze Punk's heavily damaged, and I think that is yeah, it. Yeah, that will take him down. And so, Scarlet Riders finish off this match with a 5-1 to one victory, taking themselves into the finals great attempt there by kamikaze punk at the end but a uh, lot of fantastic maneuvering, maneuvering by solace artem to throw gun arcs off even though they ended up dying it gave the lib gtk enough time to take out the kamikaze punk and sacrilege does go down 2-0 in this